Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, good evening. teacher. Good evening, good evening teacher. Jennifer, Gabriela. Good evening, Francisco. Good evening, Carla, Edwin, good evening. Janet. Uh, good evening, Sofia, Eric, Daniel, Liz, Arias. Okay. How are you? How was your day today? Was it good? Was it, uh, are you tired or are you ready to learn English? I'm ready. Ready, right? Perfect. Now we are going to wait a couple of minutes just to check if the other, other students, classmates, um, connect. Vamos a esperar unos minutos para ver si los demás se conectan. Eh, teacher, este, fíjese que yo estoy trabajando ahorita con una clienta aquí en mi casa, planchando un cabello, entonces puede estar conectada en clase, pero este, voy a estar con los audífonos. Ok. Si no estoy de un... Ok, no se preocupe. Thank you for letting me know, Gabriela. Entonces, Gabriela va a estar un poco ocupada, así que vamos a tratar de de practicar con otros eh, compañeros la conversación, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ver. We have two activities for today. So, we are going to review right now. Just to know. Okay, yesterday we studied about um, the transportation. We reviewed the transportation, also the family members. We study the simple present statements with uh, affirmative sentences and negative. Also, we study more vocabulary and also the irregular verbs and regular verbs in the simple present, right? Now we have this activity, write a routine of one of your relative or friends, try to use the present tense and the vocabulary and grammar you already know. Tenían que escribir la rutina de un amigo o una familiar, ¿verdad? Como lo hicimos ayer. In the morning, I drink coffee and I take the shower. My daughter goes to the school. My sister goes to the gym, etc. Y also, uh, we had this conversation. We are going to practice a conversation in groups and then in pairs. So that's what we are going to do right now. Are you ready to start the class? Yes, right? Perfect. So we are going to start right now with this activity, the homework, right? Like la, la, the, the, the routine for your relatives or friends. Who wants to begin? ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Volunteers. Yo, teacher. Okay, Edwin, go ahead. My friends and I travel to Los Tunneles the Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, my family and I walk the park every day. I ride my motorcycle on Sundays. Very good, very good, perfect. Now remember that is on Sunday, right? On Sunday, and um, we say it for days, right? On Sundays, perfect. Another volunteer, please. Francisco, Javier, okay, go ahead, Francisco. Uh, every every day, I walk to my work morning. Every uh, day? Every day, I walk to my work morning. Mm -hmm. uh, siguiente, my brother exercise in the morning. Uh, number three, my cousin reading a bike to her work every day. Uh, number four, uh, my parents work only afternoon. Okay, perfect. Esos. Esos. Perfect, okay. So I walk to my job every day, right? In the mornings, right? Very good. Now, um, Another thing that I notice, my brother exercise, right? And my cousin, you said, right? Rides a bike. My cousin write, writes, reading, bueno, reading uh, a bike to, 
to her work every day. Why do you write reading? What is reading? Reading. reading. ¿Por qué le puso reading? Reading is like read a letter, read a book. Reading. Eh, mi primo va en bicicleta a su trabajo todos los días. Okay. So it's writing, right? Not reading. Writing. Reading and leer, reading. Uh, writing. And in some uh, simple present statements, okay? So my cousin writes, con right. ese, writes. Right. My brother exercises, right? Con la S. Remember yesterday's rule? Okay. And my parents work only in the okay. afternoon, right? Only in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Yes. So there are some small mistakes, but you, I can understand your, your sentences. Very good. Now, do we have another person? Another volunteer? Liz Arias. Go ahead, Liz. And then Carla. Um, my sister gets up early every day. Also, my dad, my dad drinks coffee in the morning. And finally, my mom cooks dinner at seven o'clock. Very good, perfect. Gets up, right? Drinks with the S and cooks at seven o'clock. Very good. Now, Carla, go ahead with your sentences. Okay, boy. Uh, my cousin gets up at the house fast for every day. And later, she takes a shower. After she brushes brush her teeth, after that my cousin walks to work and come back at night. Perfect. So very good. So she gets up, right? You use the S, she takes a shower, right? And she brushes. Brushes, it's okay. Está bien así, brushes, que se lava los dientes. And she walks to work. Very good. Recuerden que la tercera persona con S, right? Start, practic start practicing since this level. Empiecen a practicar eso desde este nivel porque ya después se les hace costumbre y no le ponen S ya cuando están en intermedio, en avanzado. Siempre se les olvida la S. Okay, now Claudia. Go ahead, Claudia. Good evening. Um, my friend goes to the gym every afternoon. My cousin goes to soccer practice on Friday afternoon. And on weekends, I go to visit my parents. Very good. My cousin goes to soccer practice and uh, also your friend goes to the gym and you, you go also to practice or, or to work, right? Sorry, your last sentence. <laughs> no entendí que me dijo. La última oración de qué era? Ah, o sea, quise decir que mi primo iba a practicar fútbol los viernes mm -hmm. en la tarde. Mm -hmm. No sé, así, my cousin goes to soccer practice on Friday afternoon. No, yes. me has... It's okay. Yes. Yes, it's perfect. Your, your, your sentences are okay. Perfect. Very good, Claudia. Very good. Do we have another uh, another volunteer, or that's it? Algún otro voluntario? Besides Claudia, no volunteers. Gedeon Isaac, go ahead, Isaac. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My brother goes to the work. My mother goes to the church every day. Okay. That's it? Yes, they are okay. They are okay. But remember pronunciation, right? My sister or my brother goes, goes to work or goes to his work. So it's go. not goes, no, goes. Uh, goes. Go. Go. Goes. Okay. My mother goes to the church. But very good. Perfect. Perfect. Do we have another volunteer? No more volunteers? Me. Who said me? Aida Marisol? Okay, yes. go ahead, Aida. In the morning, I wake up, brush my teeth, then take a quick shower. 
Then I take my son to the school. My son study Monday and Friday. My husband take the breakfast in the work at eight o'clock. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, how do you say escuela in English, Aida? School. School, very good. School, right? School. And my son, study or studies? Studies. Studies, very good. And my husband, take or takes? Takes. Takes, perfect. Very good, perfect. Very good sentences. Actually, that was um, the, the homework for you to practice this, right? Remember the S. Recuerden la S en la tercera persona. No, que no se les haga costumbre porque si no se les va a quedar y ya después se les va a olvidar ponerle la S. Okay. Now, we are going to continue with the practice for today. By the end of this class, you will be able to form simple present questions. Ahora vamos a ver preguntas, ¿verdad? En presente simple. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about daily routines. Vamos a ver una conversación acerca de rutinas diarias, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Vamos a practicar esta conversación que les mandé, así que vamos a, a, a hacerlo lentamente para que ustedes lo hagan este, de la mejor manera posible. Let's see. It says, I get up at noon. What does it mean at noon? Mediodía. Al mediodía. Me levanto al mediodía. Who gets up at noon here? ¿Quién se levanta al mediodía aquí? Nadie. Nobody, right? Nobody, right? At what no. time do you get up, Aida? At six in the morning. 6 a.m., 6 in the morning, right? To prepare, to prepare your son, to prepare the breakfast, para preparar todo, ¿verdad? Yes. Very uh, good. Yes. Yes, yes, very good, <laughs> perfect. So, it says, I get up at noon. Si tienen alguna palabra, me dicen si no entienden alguna palabra de la conversación. It says, Jack, let's go to the park on Sunday. Amy, okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Jack, what time do you get, do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Questions, preguntas acerca de la conversación, pronunciación, o alguna palabra que tal vez sea nueva para ustedes? No questions? No oh, question. Perfect. Yes, Gedeon Isaac and Francisco, what is your question? What the, what the meaning is server? What is the they meaning serve. of? They serve. They serve. Okay, they, they serve. serve. Exactly. Ahí la E, la última no se pronuncia. They serve es ellos sirven. ¿Qué sirven? El breakfast, el desayuno todo el día. Ese restaurante le sirve el desayuno todo el día. Yes, Francisco. Excuse me, teacher. Donde se lee ahí este... En español, sure es sure, dijo usted. Sure, sure. exactly, sure. 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 Seguro. Ajá, seguro. seguro, exactly, sure. sure. It's not sure, it's sure, right? Sure. Yes, we are going to do it one more time. Y después vamos a practicar, somos 20, así que vamos a hacer como unos cinco grupos para que empiecen a practicar entre ustedes, porque como somos varios, no podemos a para que uh, participen más. Y yo voy a estar revisando los grupos para ver si están practicando. Vamos a practicar una vez más. Vamos a escucharlo y después van a practicar. It says, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. 
What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Questions? Is all day? All day. All. Todo el día. Así se dice all que, day. All day. All the day, no right. All day. Oh, okay. All day. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All day. Perfect. So we are going to practice right now. Vamos a practicar. Vamos a hacer los, um, los grupos. Déjame ver. Let me see. Cuando estén en los grupos, solo empiecen a, a conversar entre ustedes, ¿verdad? En parejas y después cambian rol y traten de escuchar y ayudarse entre ustedes. Let's see. Excuse me, teacher. Este... Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto va a dar de tiempo para los grupos? Very good question. I will give you 10 minutes for you to practice. Ten. Around 10 minutes. So, so. Okay. Okay, you can go ahead and practice. Okay, are you are you able to join? Excuse me? Are you able to join? ¿Se puede unir al grupo, Aida? Ahorita estoy viendo cómo, porque no sé qué le pasó a la compu. Mm, okay. Creo que yo tuve problema acá en la compu. Se me reinició el, el no sé por qué. Mm, ok, voy a ver si puedo hacer algo. Por favor, a ver si me puede agregar porque no logro entrar. Me dice... Vamos a ver a la sala. Sí. Aquí. Yes, ok. Creo que ya entré, pero nada más a la sala de regreso, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, are you able to get in? ¿Puedo entrar? No. Me, me regresó nada más así, pero no logré entrar a ningún grupo. No sé cómo. Ahí da. Let's see. Go to the park on primero, Sunday. De nosotros, de nosotros dos, que es lo primero. Como usted prefiera. Okay, bueno, empezamos. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let me at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Sí, okay. Siguiente. 
Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Uh, oh, oh, sí. Bueno, sí. Dice... Ya vamos de nuevo, ¿no, verdad? Uh, creo que ya casi. Démosle a veces, okay, ¿no? Empiezo, entonces. Va. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's <clears throat> go in the afternoon and sleep later on weekend. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast thing? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Just let me at the, eat at the restaurant. Restaurant at one o'clock. The service breakfast all day. Terminó el tiempo, ¿verdad? ¿O no? No, dice el coach. Go ahead. Regresamos a la sala o cómo? No, you still okay. have, tienen tres, tres minutos más. Ah, ok. Ok. Y volvemos a practicar así en el mismo orden. Ok. Aprovechar los tres minutos. Mira, Carlita, me lo sé. yo. Yes. Yo. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on late on weekend. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that early on Sunday. I get up at noon. Sunday. I get up after. I don't know. Yeah. Really? Do you do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every every day. Then let me at the restaurant and then at one o'clock. They serve breakfast breakfast all day. Continue, Cardiac. Let's go to the park on the Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I usually late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, thanks. Early on Sunday, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let me at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. <laughs> Bueno, ¿quién iría primero? Porque creo que los tres tendríamos que hacer. ¿Usted se quedaría con Jack, compañero? Sí. ¿O lo alternaría? Con Jack me quedo. Okay, welcome back. Were you able to practice the conversation? Practicaron la conversación? Yes, yes right? Yes. 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 Perfect, perfect. Now we are going to listen the last time uh, because I don't want you to get used to one uh, accent or one way to pronounce the words. Vamos a escucharlo por última vez y después vamos a revisar lo que practicaron. Just let me share here.
vamos a escuchar de la última vez este, la conversación y después vamos a ver lo que practicaron. This is the conversation, right? Conversation, I get up at noon. Let's listen the last time. conversation. I get up at noon. Listen. Creo que dejó de compartir la pantalla. Really? So, estaba compartiendo audio, teacher. Yes. Sí, estaba compartiendo audio. Do you, are you able to see it now? Okay. But let Are you able to see it? ¿La pueden ver? Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Okay, we are going to listen to it the last time. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay. Okay, did you listen to the pronunciation? Yes. It's different, yes. right? That, okay, so tienen que tratar de imitar. Try to imitate the pronunciation, the accent, o traten de imitar tal vez si ven a alguien que les guste como hablar. Complicated. <laughs> Complicated, yeah, but you, you have to practice it. So you have to uh, learn, like, to, to imitate to sound more natural. Tienen que imitar para sonar más naturales. Porque, por ejemplo, ahorita que estamos empezando, iniciando, es normal, ¿verdad? Que estemos que leyendo y que let's go to the park on Sunday. Ok, but let's go. Es normal, eso es normal. Pero ya con el tiempo eh, pueden este, ustedes decir, me gusta cómo suena esta palabra, voy a poder usar este acento. Hay varios acentos, ¿verdad? Si usted le dicen, usted tiene acento o por qué suena así, es normal tener acento, ¿verdad? Todas las personas tienen acento. Pero vamos a empezar, vamos a revisar la pronunciación. Eh, who wants to begin? ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Eh, yo. Yo, teacher. Yo, yo también. Y... Who said yo? Gaby. Edwin. Edwin. Ok, first Gaby and then Edwin. Gaby, choose one person to practice it, please. Eh, sería Jack o Amy. Ok. Eh, Jack, entonces. Ok, eh, ahora escoja uno de sus compañeros para... O oh, está bien si practica con Edwin. No, está bien, Edwin. Ok, ¿Mm? Edwin, go ahead. Ok. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Ok, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep later on the weekend. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have a breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant, eat on clock. They service breakfast all day. Okay, perfect. Uh, very good, perfect. Thank you, Edwin and Gabby. Um, it says, then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast every day. Perfect. Pronunciation, very good. La pronunciación estuvo muy bien. Y las palabras también. Yo, le, yo les pude entender lo que dijeron. Ahora Isaac parece que levantó la mano, right? Isaac, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Choose one of your classmates. Escoja un compañero para practicar o compañera. Eh, permítame. Ok. Quiero ver. Aida Gedeón. 
Aida. Aida, ok. Eso Aida. no es unánime. <risa> Will. <risa> ok, very Hi. good. Gedeón en Aida, <risa> we'll practice. Ok. Ok. Yo voy a ser Jack. Ok. okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Ok, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early on Sundays. I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat best part then? Sure, I have breakfast every, every day. Then let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve you breakfast all day. Very good, perfect, perfect. You see, if you practice, you can do it very well. Very fluent, muy fluido, muy bien, perfecto. Now, another volunteer, otro voluntario. Me. Uh, who said me? Carla. Okay, Carla, choose one of your classmates. Escoja un compañero o compañera. Okay. Pero creo que alguien más dijo que Dijo mí, yo solo levanté la mano. Ok, ¿quién quiere practicar con Carla? Ella dice que alguien más dijo mí. Yo, yo dije mí. Ah, ok, go ahead, Jennifer. Eh, let's go to the park on Sunday. Ok, well, let's go in the afternoon. I just leave a little weekend. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Very good, perfect, perfect. Okay, remember, aquí in early, a veces la E y la A sí se su suena como I, ¿verdad? Como en beard, como en barba, beard. Pero aquí es early, right? Tenemos de hacer una R, early, así, pero está muy bien. Perfect, Carla. Thank you, Jennifer. Ahora vamos a ver el último, la última pareja que, que quiere ser voluntaria. Liz, Liz Arias, ok. And who else? ¿Quién más? Let me see. Claudia. <laughs> okay, Claudia. Go ahead, Liz and Claudia. Um, uh, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep later on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast thing? Sure, I have breakfast every day. This lets me at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, perfect. Very good. Perfect. Now, uh, la palabra desayuno es difícil, es de pronunciar porque lleva bastantes letras, pero pueden, uh, pueden practicar, la verdad. Breakfast. Break break, como de break, pero breakfast, right? Entonces, así tienen que seguir practicando las, um, las conversaciones, ya que nosotros no hablamos inglés en nuestro trabajo, no lo escuchamos en las calles, solo estas conversaciones nos pueden ayudar bastante. But very good, very good conversation. Practice. Now, let's see, we have simple present questions. Como vimos en la conversación, habían varias eh, Preguntas, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son las preguntas que encontramos ahí? What time do you get up on Sundays, verdad? What time do you get up on Sundays, Claudia? At what time do you get up on Sundays? I get up. Ajá, uh -huh, I get up at I one. I two, I get uh, up three. Two. I get up at seven. Eight. I get up at seven. Somebody said that. Very good. Very good. Uh, otra pregunta que está ahí es really. 
Do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast then? Entonces, eh, ¿comes eh, el desayuno ahí entonces? Y creo que solo son esas dos las que podemos ver en la conversación. Así que eso es lo que vamos a estudiar hoy. Simple present questions. Vaya. Eh, do you know what a yes no question is? ¿Saben qué es una yes no question? Yes no question. Las que se van a, pre a responder solo con sí o no. Exactly. Exactly. Las que se responden solo con sí o no. Una pregunta de sí o no. An example, ¿me puede dar alguien un ejemplo? Como, are you ready? Are you ready? Y la respuesta es, yes, I am. No, I am not, right? Are you ready? Yes or no. For example, um, do you get up early? Ahí podemos ver una. No, right? I get up late. Does he eat lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Podemos decir sí o no, o podemos dar más información. Do they take the bus to class? No, they take the subway, right? No, they take the subway. Y tenemos WH questions. ¿Cuáles son las WH questions? Las que generalmente empiezan con W, por decirlo así, que incluyen a was, who, what, where, why. Very good. Son las preguntas que comienzan con WH o las palabras con que nos piden más información. Por ejemplo, what, ¿verdad? ¿Qué? O where, ¿dónde? O when, ¿cuándo? ¿Verdad? Ahí tenemos unos ejemplos que dice, what time do you get up? ¿A qué horas te levantas? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have dinner? At 8 o'clock. When do you take the subway? On Tuesday and Thursday. So, ahí podemos dar más información. Y las otras solo son yes, no questions, ¿verdad? Ahí tenemos eh, la explicación para qué eh, sujetos o para qué pronombres vamos a utilizar el do y para qué pronombres vamos a utilizar el das. Eso ya se lo tienen que haber aprendido, ¿verdad? El das es para he, she, it y el do es para I, you, we, they. Y ahí siempre nos eh, recuerdan de las yes, no questions. El, esa es la estructura que la pueden utilizar para formar más oraciones. Y esta es para las WH questions. Do you go to work every day? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Is that a yes, no question? Yes or no? No. No, right. Why? ¿Por qué no es esa una yes, no question? Do you go to work every day? Is a yes, no question? Yes or no? Esa es una yes, no question? Do you go to work every day? Esta que está aquí, ven. Oh. Sí, sería, sería una. Sí. Yes. Yes, sí, sí, it yes. is right. Yes, do I do. Aquí podemos ver cómo responde. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Y esta es una WH, ¿verdad? Una pregunta que nos va a hacer uh, dar más información. What does your son do during the weekend? He likes to play basketball. Vaya, ahora me van a ayudar, ya que no sé si tienen alguna pregunta antes de proceder, proseguir. To continue before continuing. Do you have any question? No questions. Ok, perfect. Ahora me van a ayudar a a completar esta información, ¿verdad? Son estas preguntas y dice complete the question with do or does. Y estas son time expressions que las vamos a ver después, ¿verdad? La primera dice do you get up early on weekdays? Ahí ya tenemos la primera. La segunda dice what time you go home on Fridays? ¿Qué debo de poner ahí? Do. 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 Let me see here. Okay, very good. Do. Bueno, vamos a corregir aquí. What time do you go home? Very good. Número tres. Your mother work. ¿Qué tengo que poner ahí? Do or does? Do. Does. Does. Very good. Does your mother. ¿Verdad? Does your mother. Exactly. Does your mother. ¿Por qué? Porque es ella, es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Cuatro. How your father get to work. 
Pongo do or pongo, pongo do. Das. 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 das? das. Das. Very good. Perfect. Number five. Your parents read in the evening. Do. 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 do? Are, do. You, are you sure? Do. Yes. Do. Yes, right. Very good. Perfect. Número seis. When your parents shop. ¿Qué pongo ahí? Do. 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 Perfect. When do your parents shop? Seven. You check your email at night. Do. 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 Perfect. Do you check your email at night? Ocho. What time you have dinner? Do. 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 Perfect. What do. do. What you time do you dinner. have dinner? Perfect. Number nine. When do. you study? Do. 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 Perfect. When do you study? Number ten. Your best friend drive to class? Does. 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 Perfect. Your best friend. Does your best friend drive to class? And the last one. What time your father get up? Does. 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 Perfect. You see, you are professionals, you are experts in English. ¿Todo ah. está correcto? Yes, todo está correcto, como pueden ver. Y recuerden que en la tercera persona, cuando usamos das, el verbo ya no le ponemos la S, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si esto estuviera en presente simple, la de, por ejemplo, la cuatro, father gets to work, ¿verdad? Y ponemos my father gets to work. Pero como lleva das, se le quita la S en la pregunta. Ahí ya no se le pone la S porque lleva das. Time expressions. Esas time expressions son que les pueden ayudar para, para poder utilizarlas, ¿verdad? Early, late, every day, at nine para la hora, at nine, ¿verdad? At ten. Al mediodía, at noon. At midnight, ¿verdad? A la medianoche, at midnight. No decimos in the night. Hay mucha gente que in the morning is correct. In the afternoon it's correct. But it's at night, ¿verdad? At night. In the evening es correct también, ¿verdad? Y para los días, on Sunday. On Sunday, on Monday, on Wednesday, on weekdays. ¿Qué es weekday? Weekday. Semana. 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 Los días, días de semana, de semana. de los lunes a viernes, ¿verdad? Weekday. Esos serían los weekday. Y los weekends. Fin de semana. Fin de semana, exacto. Fin de semana, ya que se considera hasta el viernes, se considera ya weekend, ¿verdad? Viernes, sábado, domingo. Pero los weekdays serían de lunes a viernes, ¿verdad? Very, very good. Next one. Uh, we have a routine here. Vamos a leer, quiero ver. No escucho nada, dice Carla Liliana. Can you hear me, Carla? Okay, okay, perfect. Sorry, I, I, I haven't I read your, your message before. No había leído el mensaje. Ahora vamos con las routines. Porque el, el simple present, we use it for routines. Lo usamos para las rutinas. Now I want one volunteer. Creo que se alcanza a ver. Pueden verlo o lo ven borroso. Do you see blurry? No, sí se alcanza a ver. Sí se alcanza a ver. Ok. Porque no sé qué dispositivo están usando, por eso les pregunto. Entonces, eh, quiero un voluntario y quiero que me lea uh, cada, no solo uno, ¿verdad? Solo una de las, de los schedules. Ahí está Brittany Davis, que es un college student. Es un estudiante de la universidad. Joshua Burns, que es un website designer, y Maya Black, es a rock musician. Cada uno de ellos va a hablar acerca de sus, de lo que hacen en el día, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé si alguien me quiere ayudar a leer el primero, el que dice Brittany Davis. Edwin. Sí. Ok, go ahead, Edwin. Mike, what's your show like, Brittany? Mike. My class start at 8 o'clock, so I get up at 7 o'clock and take the bus to school. When do your class end? They end at noon. They have a job at the library. 
So when do you study? My only time to study is in the every evening from oh. eight oh. until midnight. Ahí sí ya se ve algo borroso. Thank you, thank you, Edwin. Perfect. Now, um, ¿qué, ¿qué acaba de leer eh, eh, Edwin? ¿Ella qué una hace rutina. durante el día? ¿Qué hace? La rutina. Durante... Es la rutina, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. a, las... ¿A qué hora se levanta ella? What time does she get up? A las 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock. Very good. And at what time do the classes start? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Very good. And what does she do um, at noon? Trabaja en la librería. No. Ajá, uh -huh, ajá. Uh -huh. How do you say uh -huh. trabaja en la librería en inglés? John. She has a job at the library. library. Uh, very good. She has a job in, at the library. At the library. library. Or she works at the library. Very good. Mm -hmm. y, at what time does she study? ¿A qué hora se estudia ella? Evening. Uh, eight. 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 Exactly, oh, yeah. eight until midnight, ¿verdad? In the evening. Very good. Now, pronunciation. Vaya, hay unas palabras que a veces las van a escuchar con, de una manera y de otra manera, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, aquí Edwin eh, dijo Ooh, la palabra schedule. schedule, right? Como esta, what's your schedule? In American English is schedule. En, eh, en el inglés americano van a escuchar schedule, así. Pero en británico es schedule, schedule. Entonces tiene dos pronunciaciones. Cuando si la oyen de diferente manera, pues ahí van a notar la diferencia. Si es schedule, es de Inglaterra, ¿verdad? del Reino Unido. Y si es schedule, es americano, es American. Library, ¿verdad? Library, study, a veces nos confundimos porque te, vemos la U, eh, is study, and evening. Evening, no, evening. But the rest was perfect, perfect. Ahora, another volunteer, otro voluntario que me ayuda a leer lo de Joshua Burns. Jennifer, go ahead, Jennifer. What your shoulder like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run for breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8 o'clock around 1 o'clock. I take a lunch breakfast. Break, I'm sorry. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Perfect, perfect. Very good. So, um, at what time does Joshua get up? ¿A qué hora um, se levanta Joshua? Eight, eight, no, 6.30 a.m. 6.30 a.m. Very good. Perfect. And where does he work? Where does he work? Eight o'clock. Where? Where? Um, Donde? Uh, at home. At home. Very good. He works at home. Very good. And does he work late at night? Yes or no? No. 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 Oh. He, do he doesn't work late at night. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yes, right. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Yes, sometimes. What night. is the meaning of sometimes? ¿Qué significa sometimes? So, uh, alguna veces. Alguna veces, veces, a veces, verdad. Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Very good. Thank you, Jennifer. Your pronunciation was really good. And um, yes, actually, it was really good. Now we have the last one. 
Maya Black, rock musician. Ella es una música, ¿verdad? Eh, volunteers, ¿quién me quiere ayudar con Maya Black? What is your like? Teacher. Yes. Who said teacher? ¿Quién me quiere ayudar con Maya Black para leer lo que ella hace? Ah, ok. Go ahead. Go ahead, José. Ok. Ok. Uh, my what your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. And I play until 3 p.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner, then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. Very good, perfect, perfect. Okay, so at what time does she work? At what time does she work? 10 p.m. At 10 p.m., very good, 10 p.m. And at what time does she go to bed? Five in the morning. Five in the morning. Very good. Very good. And what does she do after work? Yeah. What does she do after work? Uh, I have dinner. She has dinner. She has dinner, dinner, right? She have dinner. Dinner. Okay. Yeah, diner is the place. Diner is the lugar, verdad? Dinner is la cena, dinner. verdad? Very good. So, uh -huh. después de trabajar ella, cena, ¿verdad? Very good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Do you have any question about um, this vocabulary? ¿Qué significa schedule? Eso iba a decir yo también. Ok. Schedule. What does it mean schedule? Horario, ¿verdad? Um, horario. Su horario. ¿Cuál es su horario? ¿Qué hace usted en el día, verdad? Se levanta a las seis, va a trabajar. That's your schedule. El schedule tiene horarios, ¿verdad? Tiene horas. Another question. No, es como la, la daily routine. Es algo diferente, sino que es como que ya organizado. Exacto, ya organizado. A las seis, levantarse, ¿verdad? A las ocho, ir a trabajar. A las doce, lunch. That's your schedule. Exacto. Okay. Another question. No. No questions. Okay, perfect. Okay. Very good. Now we almost finished. Um, solo voy a tomar la asistencia, pero antes le voy a dejar una actividad. What do you do every week? This is a schedule, but it is incomplete, right? Está incompleto. Entonces, you need to complete the chart and share the information with the class. It means that tomorrow in the class, the first thing that I will ask you is your schedule. I will ask you this question. What's your schedule like? For example, I will ask Aida, right? What's your schedule like? And Aida will tell me, ah, my schedule, I, I, I get up at 6 a.m. And then I start working at 8 a.m. I have lunch at noon. Okay, traten de usar las expresiones, time expression, ¿verdad? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at seven, at eight. Traten de usar eso correctamente para que ustedes me hablen de su eh, schedule, de su horario. Me van a decir, pueden decirme su horario semanal o solo de un día. Mañana, eso es lo primero que les voy a preguntar al reunirnos. Do you have any question? No. No okay. question. Ok, perfect. So, solo voy a revisar quién vino a la clase, solo para ya de último. Eh, quiero ver qué razón. Está Edwin. Sí, acá. Aida. Present. Luisa. Here. José Edgardo. Present teacher. Perfect. Let's see. Gabriela Elizabeth. Present teacher. Perfect. Celia Verónica. Present. Carla Liliana. Present. Perfect. Claudia Jocelyn. Present. Perfect. Carla Durán. 
present. Perfect. Aida, I guess I already told you, right? I already asked you. So, Francisco Javier. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Jennifer Raquel. Present. Perfect. Janet Rosibel. Are you there, Janet? Present okay. teacher. Present. Perfect. Luisa Ariana. Present. Agustin Alexander. Present. Perfect. Sofía Bautista. Present, teacher. Flor Elizabeth. Present. Elizabeth Ortez. Present. And let me see here. ¿Qué más me falta? Elizabeth Ortez. Gabriela Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Liz Arias. Here. Y Eric Daniel. I'm here. No me mencionó, teacher. Let me see. Es que se mueven. Gedeon Isaac, right? Right. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so do you have any question for tomorrow? ¿Alguna pregunta? No. 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 Okay. Luisa Ariana, what are we going to do tomorrow? ¿Qué vamos a hacer mañana? ¿Qué les voy a preguntar yo al principio cuando se conecten en la clase? Que el, que el schedule de cada, de cada uno. Exactly. Or the exactly. Watch your schedule, like, right? Watch your schedule, like. Y van a tomar así como lo que hicimos hoy, ¿verdad? Que dicen que las clases empiezan, que hacen al, al mediodía, etc. Okay. Remember, try to use the time expressions and try to practice, ¿ok? Si tienen alguna pregunta de la plataforma, traten de terminarla porque creo que mañana a las 12 se cierra para poder recibirla, ¿ok? Solo como no recordatorio. Puede, no pueden enviar la captura de este, porque este. yo no la eh, Este ejemplo porque yo lo trato de expandir y no lo leo bien, es porque yo me conecto desde mi teléfono. Mm, yes, exactly. Vale, les voy a tratar de enviar eso al grupo para su teléfono. Y voy a tratar de buscar tal vez una calidad más mejor, ¿verdad? Better, better quality. Pero sí. mañana le voy a preguntar de eso. Ya les voy a mandar eso antes de que se me olvide. Y nos vemos mañana. Gracias por su esfuerzo y por su dedicación y por su disciplina de estar acá. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Rest. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Teacher.